Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Numbux Project, and today we're gonna see a Java challenge about equals and hash code. It's very tricky, so let's see here. I'll share my screen. Okay, so that's the challenge, and we are instantiating two classes here with uh, the Bart value, and we are instantiating another one with the value of Homer and we are overriding this method hash code. Here, we are instantiating again the Simpson class with the Homer value and checking if it is equal to the other one. And we are using a hash set. And then we are just checking the size of it in the end. So this is the Pojo. You can see that we have the equals method and the hash code method overridden. And yeah, I'm gonna give you some time and then when you're ready, just you can come up with the answer. Okay, so let's see the answer. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, so it's true or false entry. You shouldn't have changed your opinion, Ruan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the hash code is paired the sum of it. So I thought that could have some effect comparing um, margin homer. No problem. Let's see the right. why uh, the answer is what it is. So I'm going to just debug here. So here um, we are instantiating two objects with the same value, which makes them be the same because we are comparing the name and then the hash code that uh, is just the same here. It's going to return the sum of those numbers. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah, then it's gonna go in the in the equals method and hash code. Here we are basically creating a class and then overriding the hash code method with just a different number here, just plus one that is different. And then we check if those objects are the same. So since we are invoking the hash code method here, it's going to be false because, yeah, here we overrode this method and it's different. We are, there is this uh, plus one that's different from this hash code method so that's why it's going to be false and here we are adding a new homer a new march and yeah this one as it is the same value so what happens in in the set interface is that we can add only unique elements as we overrode the equals method and hash code method, as we have the, the same value here, it's it's not gonna be added again. So it will just be ignored. We won't add this value. So the size remains true. You see that each time that we add an element into the set interface, we uh, we go through those methods. And then we add the overridden Homer that has the um, hash code different. It's like plus one here. So it will be added because the hash code is different. So the size in the end is going to be three. Just one observation here is that if we remove the equals and hash code method, we would have here one two three four elements so let's run it again just to show you yeah so that happens because the set the the hash set implementation always checks the equals and hash code method that's the only way to know if the objects are equals so we can even find here Let's see. 
fetch code when we add So yeah, <laughs> this code is a bit crazy, but you can see that the equals and hash code method are being compared here. So what it uh, does, it, it basically compares if the object is equals and if uh, that the hash code is uh, the same. Actually, it compares first the hash code and then it goes to the equals method. I can go uh, deeper into this topic in another Java challenge. Otherwise, this one will get uh, very extended. But uh, just remember that it's very important because yeah, if we don't do that, if we don't override those methods, the set interface won't work with uh, with those values. Rafael. Yeah. Uh, could you please uncomment uh, the equals and hash code and just comment the this name equals in the equals method? Just the part, the first part of the return. And run. I ignored this. Okay, let's see that. Yeah, that's an exception on the set off. Oh yes, because set off is a is a factor that does not accept it, does not accept the repetition. Is that right? Exactly. So what happens yeah. here is that the Simpson object is the same. They are uh, both of them are the same, and the factory method set off doesn't accept duplicate elements. So if we have uh, elements with the same values into the equals and hash code methods being returned, uh, we're going to get uh, an exception here. So that's why it's the set of factory method. We, we just created another uh, quiz using the same question. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I learned that from the other challenge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We have a challenge about the, the, the set yeah, of... sure. yeah. <laughs> that's so uh, another another thing here is that if we did that with the factory method, it would break as well because the factory method is uh, immutable. So it returns uh, an implementation of the set interface that is immutable. So if we try to add something else here, it would break as well. We would get an exception. And that's it for this challenge, guys. Do you have any questions? No, very nice challenge. Um, no, my head hurt a little bit on this one. OK. <laughs> very nice. That's nice. Thank you. That's nice. OK, then. So just going to stop sharing my screen. OK, guys. So that was the Java challenge about equals and hash code. It's a very, very important concept to master because we use that very it's, it's very common to use in corporate projects so it's it's crucial for us to understand it deeply about the equals and hash code methods and how to use them effectively with uh, collections and yeah that's it i hope you got value from this java challenge if, if you want to know more go to nobugsproject.com and there's a section there called Java Dev Gym. And then you can take your challenge, you can practice your, your Java skills, and you can get it better. And please, if you liked the video, give a like and uh, get subscribed. Because by doing that, it, you're going to help me out to create more videos. And you're going to help yourself because I'll be able to create better content and more videos for you. So that's it, guys. See you.